Good morning, my beloved Greater Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. To those of you viewing by YouTube and Facebook this morning, we pray God's blessing upon you. Amen. I'm so glad that you join in with us on this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And uh, we as his children should rejoice and we should all be glad. Amen. How many of you out there in, 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 in our world today are glad to just be in the land of the living? Amen. Amen. It's good to be here today. Amen. So many things, so many uh, different things taking place in our lives right now. Amen. But God is still in control of it all. Amen. And he is depending on us to lean and depend on him. Amen. To get through these things that we are going through right now. Amen. These unprecedented times. Amen. That we're living in. Unrest. Everybody uh, is not at ease right now. Amen. A lot of things taking place. But we do know God's got us. Amen. Because he promised us in his word. If we trust him, he will take care of us. Amen. And I believe that. Amen. So it's so good to be. We give honor to God today, uh, to uh, my beloved Greater Galilee Baptist Church family here in the city of Little Rock, Arkansas. Amen. It's just glad. I'm just glad to be here. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we come in the name of Jesus, first of all, thanking you for this day. Thanking you, Father, for another opportunity to stand before these, your people. We pray, God, that your word will come forth today. We ask, God, that you use us in your service, that we'll be able to uh, impart this word in the way that you would have us to. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you again. Amen. Uh, we are in a series of sermons living above our circumstances amen living above our circumstances and we're getting ready to close out amen this series uh, but we want you to know today whatever come our way uh, we can live above what we're going through amen but i found this out we cannot live above what we're going through if we're not connected to god amen the one who can pull us through. Amen. I've heard so many times, if he brought you to it, he'll take you through it. Amen. And I believe that today. We'll be coming out of the book of James today. Amen. The James, the first chapter. Amen. We'll be dealing with the first four verses today. Amen. Amen. Uh, James, first chapter, one through four. And you will find these words recorded. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. What a word. Amen. Today, I would like to use, if you will, as a brief thought, amen, uh, handling the struggles of life. Amen. Handling the struggles of life. And when I look at these the struggles in life, I'm looking at the trials, amen, that we are facing on a daily basis. Amen. And God wants us to handle those struggles. Amen. And it takes something when we have to deal with what we're going through in these day and time. We face all kinds, amen, of trials in life. We face all kind of struggles. We wrestle through life, amen. 
uh, we, we have struggles on every hand. Uh, ironically, I prepared as I was working on the sermon last week and uh, woke up this morning, amen, and getting ready to come to the house of the Lord to get ready to bring this word, amen, to God's people. And all of a sudden, I heard a pop. Praise God, it wasn't a gunshot, <laughs> But it was a pop around my house, amen. And I, I went outside to look, and under my house was a water leak, amen. The, the, somehow or another, in <laughs> November, a water pipe busted, amen. And I looked back, I stood back, and I wondered, amen. And I thought about this thing. I say, I'm getting ready to impart to God's people the struggles of life. And I thought about what was going on. Amen. I, I thought about what took place. And I had in my mind, I, I know all things work together for the good to those who love God and the call according to his purpose. I know that works. But I... I came to realize that something had to come forth for me to understand more about the struggles that we have in life. Amen. And uh, so I, I, I didn't take it. I didn't get angry, wanted to be angry because I'm only human. But uh, I could I could have gotten frustrated. Amen. But I decided not to go through that stage. Amen. But to sit back and think about what is it that God had for me in this situation. Amen. So we, we, we all have struggles. We, we, we face trials. Amen. And, and some of our struggles, amen, are tragic. Some, are, some by comparison, are less traumatic. Amen. But they all, I found out, are real. <laughs> Amen. How I many of you know today struggles are real? And we have to understand that, my brothers and sisters, as we go through this life. Amen. As we, we have to handle these struggles. We, we might get frustrated. We might get angry. We might, we might even get uh, real upset about it all. But I just want to tell you today, handle. Just handle your struggle. Amen. And uh, realizing that you can't handle these struggles by yourself, amen. Uh, I found out the struggles that I have, I can't deal with them by myself. I have to, I, I, I need God to help me deal with these struggles, amen. But uh, when I looked at the, the word handling, amen, it's the act of taking hold of something at hand. It, it's an act of touching, feeling, holding, and moving something. When I, in other words, put your hands on whatever's going on. Whatever your struggle is, put your hands on it. Amen. Not, not necessarily your physical hands, but take it. Take it. Uh, don't let your struggle control you. Amen. You control your struggle. And God give us the authority and he give us the ability to control our struggle. Put your hands on it. Handle it. Amen, because you're going to have, we're going to have many struggles in life, amen. Whenever you handle something, it's, it's only the way you deal with that something, amen. Uh, it, it could be a person, amen. It could, it could be an event, amen. It could be a situation. Whenever we handle the struggle, we make uh, sometimes forceful or violent efforts to get free of the restraint of restricted. How many of you ever been in a struggle you had to fight your way out of? Because you feel like you're, you're being restrained and you have restrictions, amen. It's so far you could go. It's so much you could do. That's when you have to put it in God's hand. Isn't that right? As we look at this today, my brothers and sisters, whenever we struggle, amen, just put forth that extra effort, amen, to work it, to work it out, amen. 
I looked at this. Amen. How we react to our struggles. Amen. Oftentimes, people have a tendency to throw up their hands. Isn't that right? And, and give up and become angry. They become bitter. Amen. They become hostile. You can't, you can't communicate with them. Amen. Once they are, are in deep, uh, and they have problems. Amen. That, uh, they can hardly stand to handle by themselves. Amen. They need sometimes, my brothers and sisters, they take, they take uh, 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 medicine, to, amen, to, to calm them down. But I want you to know today, my brothers and sisters, call on God. And if you look at, if you look at your struggles, amen, if you look at your trials that you are going through in life today, you would understand, like James was trying to tell him, you face these things with joy. You, you face those trials, those troubles, those struggles. You face them with joy. Amen. That's what he said. He said, my brethren, in, in verse 2, he says, count it all joy. When you fall into divers temptation, those, those divers temptations are things that cause you to react in ways that's not godly a lot of time. But he said, count it all joy because he gave us the strength to overcome these struggles in that way. Well, how should we handle our struggles? How should we know our struggles? Amen. How, how should we know this? Amen. How should we know our struggles? How should we handle our struggles? Uh, but uh, number one, we have to understand, my brothers and sisters, that these struggles are inevitable. Amen. It, it, it's whenever. Amen. Not if. Amen. It, it, it's not whenever the trouble come. It's, it, 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 it's, 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 it's not if the trouble come, but whenever the trouble come. In other words, my brothers and sisters, we're going to have problems. No matter how far, how righteous you're living in life, amen, you're going to have some struggles. You will have struggles in life, and you will have, you have to handle those struggles. Amen. You have to deal with those struggles. I heard Peter in 1 Peter 4.12, it says, Beloved, do not be surprised, amen, at the fiery trials which uh, when, when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. In other words, he said, don't be surprised. But they do come as a surprise many, many times. That's what God wants us to handle the struggle. Amen. Whenever we're going through something, uh, just put our hands on it, find out what it is. And uh, amen, research and see, uh, Lord, what, uh, what am I not doing or what am I doing that's causing all of these things to come upon me? Have anybody ever been there? Have, has anybody ever been there? Amen. Look like every time you try to do right, evil is always present. And then it calls you to go into a state of mind or wondering, why are these things happening to me? I'm trying to live right. I'm trying to do right. I'm, I'm trying to treat people right. And I love the Lord. And I have to go. To, why am I? But, but, but James is saying, just count it joy. Because it has to be something. It has to be something in it. Amen. That God is trying to teach us. Amen. Whenever we are going through our struggles, God is only trying to teach us something. Amen. It's, it, it's not good to, to, to just let it pass. Amen. It's, it's not good to let it go. Amen. But we have to keep on striving. Amen. And handling what we are going through. Isn't that right? Amen. These struggles are unpredictable. We're not looking for struggles. We don't look for struggles to come. We don't look for trials to come. We don't look for these, uh, uh, all of these problems to come, but uh, it's unpredictable. These trials are unpredictable. These struggles are unpredictable. Amen. They, they really, they, you don't expect it. Amen. They, it's unexpected. 
Trials are not planned. I don't know about you, but I don't plan all these trials that I'm experiencing right now. But I sure be trying to be ready for them. Amen. I don't plan for them, but I try to be ready for them. Are you with me here today? Amen, my brothers and sisters. We seldom can anticipate the problems we're going to experience. Amen. That's problem. Amen. That's probably good because if we could anticipate, amen, our problem, we would run in another direction. Isn't that right? We wouldn't get, amen, the benefit from them. And I don't know about you, but I have learned from some of the trials that I've gone through. A well, matter of fact, all the trials that I've experienced, I have learned something from them. Amen. We don't plan to have a flat tire. Isn't that right? Amen. We, we, we don't plan to fall into a crisis situation. Isn't that right? Uh, they are unplanned and they're unpredictable. Uh, when we least expect them, you all, it seems like that's when these trials come. Isn't that right? I wasn't expecting that water leak this morning. Amen. But uh, it wasn't planned. Amen. But uh, what God wanted me to do is grab hold to, to myself and, and handle the situation. In other words, he said, you, you, you have a message to deliver today, amen. Just go outside, amen, and turn the water off, amen, and continue to get ready to come, amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I know it's inconvenient sometimes, <laughs> amen, when you fall into it suddenly. But God want us to handle it, isn't that right? Amen. They are, uh, they are not all the same. I found that out. Amen. Uh, these, these struggles are not all the same. Amen. Uh, there are many kinds of, of struggles and trials. Amen. There, uh, there are trials of many colors, if you will. They, they come in all shape, form, and sizes. Can I get a witness in here today? Some are minor inconveniences. Some are major crises. We have all kinds, amen, and shapes of problems. Some problems are custom made, amen, just for you. I said some problems are custom made. Some struggles are custom made just for you. And guess what? You can handle it. Look at somebody and say, you can handle it. In everyone's life, no matter how rich or how poor, no matter what position you hold in life, some rain must fall on you as well. Isn't that right? There are a variety of problems in our lives. Consider, consider your problem a gift. Oh, my God. When tests and challenges come at you from all sides, consider it as a gift. My brothers and sisters, consider it nothing. James said, consider it nothing but joy when you fall into all sorts of trials. Isn't that right? And listen. True joy, listen to me now, does not come cheap. Look at somebody say, it's not cheap. Joy is not cheap. Amen. Uh, doesn't come cheap, amen. And it doesn't come as some superficial emotion. Huh? Real joy, my brothers and sisters, are. Uh, is produced by much deeper factors than the circumstances that product that produces, excuse me, superficial happiness. If you're struggling through the negative circumstances of life, struggling, amen, in doubt and dismay, you, you have forgotten the genuine joy that resides in the confidence that your life is hidden with Christ in God. In God's providence, that joy and assurance can 
be most strong doing a trial. Why? Why? Because you're, you're praying, you're communicating with God. Amen. As you go through these different trials in life, you're praying more when you're a child of God. You, you're dialoguing with God. Amen. You're, you're sitting still. You're standing still enough to hear what God is saying. He said, consider it pure joy. Now, don't, don't misunderstand. Don't misunderstand what James is saying. He, he, he's not saying fake it. He's not saying fake it. He, he, he's not saying put on a false smile. He, no, no, he, he's not saying that. He didn't, he's not saying to pretend. Amen. <laughs> to be something that you're not. He's not. No, 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 no. God never asks you to deny what's real. I'm going to say it again. God does not ever ask you to deny what's real. What's real is real. Your struggles are real. I heard somebody, songwriter, say your struggles are over. Amen. Uh, your struggles could be over. Isn't that right? Uh, I, I, I heard a songwriter. Amen. Uh, but I want you to know today, uh, he doesn't mean some kind of psychological pump. Uh, amen. Pump up based on nothing. Amen. He, he's also not talking about pretending for an example. You know, some people, uh, they, they, they say, I, I, I welcome my struggles. I welcome my trials. I welcome all of these things that come up on me. I'm not, he's not saying that. Amen. Uh, doesn't anybody like to suffer? I, I haven't heard anybody say, well, hallelujah, I, I get to suffer while, I, uh, you know, and I can see God working. No, we don't. It doesn't work like that. Amen. He don't want us to pretend. <laughs> I never heard people. I, I've never loved. To, I, 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 I hate pain. I hate suffering. I hate having to struggle all the time. Amen. And uh, uh, we don't uh, we don't thank God for a situation, amen. <laughs> uh, we don't thank God for the struggle, amen. But uh, why would I thank God for evil? But guess what? I could thank God in the struggle. <laughs> I don't thank God for the struggle, but I could thank Him in the struggle. Are y'all with me here today? God wants us to look at things, amen, look at what's going on in our life today and take it and count it as joy, joy, unspeakable joy, amen. And, and uh, the Bible said the word count, count it all joy, amen. Uh, it's a financial term. Say financial term. I know you're here. Amen. It's a financial term, and, and it means to evaluate. I had to evaluate what, what's going on. <laughs> amen. I, I could have I went another direction today. Amen. Amen. But I, I had to evaluate. Uh, I, I couldn't get under the house to see what was going on. Amen. But I could hear it and I could look through the little the crawl space and I could see water going everywhere. Amen. <laughs> amen. So I had to evaluate now. Uh, I know some way, somehow, I, this water's got to get fixed. Amen. So I, I'm up here evaluating, wondering, what do I need to do now? But I said, no, I'm not going to worry with that right now. I, 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 my main concern right now is to get this word to God's people. Amen. So I, I had to evaluate. Amen. God used it several, uh, uh, Paul used the word several times in Philippians 3. When Paul became a Christian, he evaluated his life. Amen. And set new goals and priorities. Things that they, uh, that, that, that were once important to him became nothing to him. In the light of his experience with Christ. When we face these trials, of life. We must evaluate them in the light of what God is doing for us. Isn't that right? Amen. This explains why dedicated Christians, my brothers and sisters, have, have joy in the midst of trials. Man, they don't ask, they didn't ask for the trial. 
Amen. But they learn how, or we learn how to have joy in the midst of the trial. Amen. And I find uh, when, you, when you learn how to have joy in the midst of your trial, you can keep moving forward to see what the end is going to be. Amen. God doesn't ever want us to throw up our hands and give up as if there's no hope. Amen. Hey, uh, I, I want you to know today he lives for the things that matters most. Amen. Uh, we have to do that. The Christian, we have to live for the thing that matters most. Amen. We are to evaluate our trial on the basis of eternal realities. Amen. How many of you want to go to heaven when you leave here? We all do, doesn't we? Amen. We have to we have to work on these things. This is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. Amen. And and we have to understand when God is in control. And I'm getting ready to close. I remember looking at Joseph, how his brothers treated him. Amen. How they how they were jealous. They envied him. Amen. In Genesis 50 and 20. Amen. Is he said to his brothers after the famine came. Amen. He, he knew his, his brothers meant him evil. He meant they meant evil against him. But guess what? God put him in control. They put him in charge. And these brothers who meant evil put him in a pit. God watched that, and the way the way Joseph responded to the way he reacted to his situation. Amen. He kept his Trust in God. God moved him from the pit to a palace. Amen. But he had to continue to hold on to the character that he had. Isn't that right? And now, my brothers and sisters, we find out that uh, when the famine came, the brothers who betrayed him had to go to him. Amen. And 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 he he didn't hold anything against him. He only helped them get to where they wanted, uh, where they needed to be. This is when you can say God is in control. Isn't that right? Amen. Trials, my brothers and sisters, are God's special gifts to us. Psalms 55 and 22 says, cast your burdens on the Lord and he will sustain you amen he will never permit the righteous to be moved hebrew reads commit to the lord amen what he has given to you amen what he has laid upon you committed unto the lord amen word for burden here is talking about uh, a gift this burden oh i know it's hard to understand how is a burden a gift it's a gift because it'll give us the opportunity to call on the most high God. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. And then my brothers and sisters, God promises uh, his deliverance and eternal blessings. Hebrews 12 and 2, amen. It says, looking unto Jesus, good God Almighty, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. My God, despising the shame and is sitting down at the right hand of the throne of God. I know it seemed impossible, especially in times such as these that we're in today. Everything that's going on in our world today, you can choose to rejoice in this situation. Are you here today, my brothers and sisters? Amen. I heard uh, the psalmist say, amen, in 34 and 1, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I don't know about you today, my brothers and my sisters, but I know I can live above my circumstances. I know I can handle the struggles that's going on 
in my life. But I have to keep looking to the hills from which cometh all of my help. For I know all of my help comes from the Lord. Yes, my brothers and my sisters, I look at Jesus. Amen. Ever since he was born or before he was born, he had to struggle. Even in life as he was growing up as a child, he had to struggle. Can I get a witness here today? Yes, my brothers and sisters, the struggles are not easy, but I don't want you to know that if God calls you to struggle, it's only to strengthen you. Can I get a witness here today? I'm so glad that he gives us the ability to handle our struggle. Yes, my brothers and sisters, he proved it one Friday evening when he died on the cross. Yes, my brothers and my sisters, he died until the sun refused to shine. Yes, uh, somewhere between uh, the third hour, he died upon the old Robert cross. My brothers and sisters put in a barbered grave and stayed there all night Friday night, uh, all day Saturday, but early Sunday morning, God, yes, calls uh, Jesus to rise uh, from the grave. And God, all right today, uh, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that he got up out of the grave with all power and heaven and earth in his hand. Looked to John and look to James and they'll tell you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Can I get a witness here? Jesus, he will help you through any of your situation. Can I get a witness here? Just put it in the hand of the Lord, uh, and he will handle your situation. In God, all right, early Sunday morning, he proved that he could handle anything. Um, because when he got out of the grave, he looked at the grave and said, Grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? Uh, give it to God and trust him that he will uh, take care of your struggles. Uh, put it in his hands and he will uh, take care of them. Sometimes we do all we can to handle the situation and find out we can handle it by ourselves. And God, all right today, I got to leave you now, but trust in the Lord, yes, in all your heart, and don't lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, yes, in all your ways, trust in the Lord. Don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Trust him and he will direct your path, even through your struggles. God bless and keep you as our prayer today. The door of the church is open. Come by letter, Christian Experience Academy for Baptism. Amen. And if you're not saved, you can become saved today. Some of you are going through something right now. Some of you are struggling. Amen, right now. Some of you are going through struggling with this election that's taking place right now. But put it in God's hand. Amen. God could handle it better than we can. Amen. And when God handles it, whatever the outcome is, we can't do anything with it anyway. Amen. Just trust God, will you? Amen. The door of the church is open. Amen. Tomorrow is a brand new day. All my sins have been washed away. My hands are blue. My life is free. My heart 
bless you, God bless you, God bless you, is our prayer. Amen. We ask that you log in. Amen. If you need a church home, that you can call your own. Go to www.greatergalileambc.com. Amen. And we will talk to you. We will give you information you need to get to where God wants you to be. Even through your struggles. Amen. We know God have a plan. We know he has a plan for you. Amen. God bless you. And uh, those of you viewing by YouTube and Facebook, we want you to know God loves you. We love you. Even in your struggles. But learn how to just put it in God's hand. Amen. He don't want you, amen, to go through those things alone. Sometimes he permits these things that we can go through them. Amen. So we can call on him in hours such as these that we're in right now. I mean, during this pandemic we're in right now, uh, he wants us to call on him. It's a struggle. It's been a struggle for almost eight months. Amen. But God, amen, we put it in his hand. Amen. Amen. We didn't ask for it, but it's here, and he wants us to handle it. Amen. Amen. Put it in his hand. If we can't handle it, we need to just give it to him anyway. Isn't that right? Amen. God bless and keep you as our prayer today. We're looking forward to seeing you on next week. Amen. But remember our um, midweek Bible study. Amen. We had a we have an awesome lesson coming to you on Wednesday. Amen. And uh, we just want you to tune in. Amen. And uh, hear what the Lord is saying to you through our Bible study. Amen. Amen. God bless and keep you as our prayer today. And we're going to have a word of prayer, and then we would dismiss. You tell God, our Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you for this day, O oh God. We thank you for your word today. Father God, we are experiencing struggles every day. But we know, Father, we didn't ask for them, but we know we can depend on you to get us through. We cast in all of our burdens upon you, but we know you care for us, Father. We know, Father God, you will never bring us to a struggle that you couldn't help us get through it. Amen. Some way, somehow. And we thank you for that, Lord God. Now, Heavenly Father, we pray that as we leave this place, allow the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit to rest, rule, and abide with those of us under the sound of my voice. Those who are under the sound of my voice may be. Your spirit rest, rule, and abide with us until we come together again. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless and keep you as our prayer. Have a blessed, blessed, blessed week. Amen.